Welcome to War Thunder with Subdude. How y'all doing today? Well, here we are getting on towards the end of the World War mode. Oh my god, this has been a long, drawn out, oh my god, I wish it was over thing. And it looks like it either ends today or tomorrow. I don't care which. It's just too long and drawn out for me. Um, that said, what is the next major thing to come up? Well, usually the next major thing would be the next patch. Well, the next patch should herald a massive change. What that change is, nobody knows yet. Nobody's hinting at it yet. But here's some of the things I would like to see in air realistic, or at least in the aviation tech trees. Let's start with the United States. The good old US of A. One of the first things I'd like to see is the B-25J moved down and nested with the B-25J and add in the B-26, preferably the G model. Why do I want the B-26G? I'll give you two reasons. One, it's not a B-25. Two, it's more powerful. And here's a bonus reason. It carries more bombs than the B-25J. So, you not only get a different aircraft, you get a faster, more powerful aircraft, and you get an aircraft that has a better bomb load. Move the B-25J-20 down and nest it, or make it a next plane in line, like it currently is with the B-25J-1. Where the B-25J-20 is, put in the B-26G model. At your discretion, Gaijin, whichever one there is of the Gs. Next, the P-51 that we currently have in game has the old Allison engine. It does not perform well at high altitude. What we need before we get into the P-47s is the P-51B slash C models. Now you might be wondering what I mean by B slash C. B and C models are the same plane. The differentiation is the B was produced in Dallas, Texas the C was produced in Ingalls, California. That's the only difference between them. Now, what differentiates them from the P-51 itself is they have 50 cals instead of 20 mils. Not as good in the firepower, but better in the amount of fire that you have available. And the P-51Bs and Cs were faster than the P-51Ds originally. Next, I'd like to see the P-47D-15. We currently have the D-25 and the D-28. Both good planes, but we're missing the Razorback. Now, if you want to make it the P-47C, I don't care. But the Razorback is the iconic plane, not the bubble top. After that, basically, there's nothing left until we get to the end of the props in the naval line. The F-7F is a great plane but there should be one after it. And the one after it should be the FH-1 Phantom. Now, some of you are probably screaming going, Phantom? Phantom's down here. No. 
the FH1 Phantom goes here. It goes before the F2H2. The FH1 Phantom is a primary trainer, basically. They only made about 80 of them total, if they made that many. I'm not sure exactly the exact number, but they weren't very powerful. The jet engines that they had at the time, when they created them, were not that good. And they had four 50 cals. So they would be basically about on the same par as the P-59A. They were about the same speed, maybe a little bit faster than the P-59. And with 450 cals, they can stay in a fight for a long time. Now let's jump down into Tier 5. Tier 5 means I would like to see the F9F8, the Cougar, moved down into Tier 5. It does not belong in Tier 6. I don't care how many Sidewinders it's packing, it needs to be moved down into Tier 5. If you were looking for justification, the Seahawk. That would lower the F3H2 down to this point. Actually, what I would do before I lowered the F3H2 is I would move the FJ4B over into the slot vacated by the F9F8. Reason? It's a fighter. I don't care what anyone else has to say. It's a fighter bomber! Well, so is every aircraft from here down. Actually, from about here down. The A4B, I still think, should be lowered down here. Why? Because it's got, it's one of the first ones. It's not as powerful, but it is slow. And yeah, it's got a couple of sidewinders, but that doesn't mean it's a super plane. The F3D1 should be moved over before the F2H2. It's a fighter. It's not an attacker. It's a fighter. So move it over. Move the A4B down and add in the A4M. The A4M has a better engine and it could carry more ordnance. That should be rank 6. After the A4B, you have a choice. I would suggest the A6 Intruder or the A7 Corsair 2. The big question is, do you want to go with the A, B, D, or E model of the A7? because they're different. After the F3H2, I would suggest a new plane. And that new plane would be the A4, excuse me, not the A4, but the F4D Skyray. Skyray was actually a supersonic aircraft. And it could carry four Sidewinders or Sparrow missiles. It would be an excellent plane for a follow-on to the F-3H2. And if you didn't want to put in the Sky Ray, I would suggest the F-8 Crusader. And the reason I suggest the F-8 Crusader is because France can get one. And that would give them a plane that is actually capable of doing something besides their Mirage. And that's pretty much as much as I would do to the American lineup. 
I might add an additional bomber, like a B-45 in rank 5, or an RB, or a B-66 in rank 6. And why would I add those two planes? One of which? Because they have a stinger in the tail, which no American bomber at rank 5 or rank 6 has. But Russians do. And I'm sick to death of trying to close up behind one of those to kill it and being shot down by laser cannon 23 millimeters. That's just me. And that's pretty much all I would do to the American lineup. And at this point, I'm going to call it quits and go on to produce another one for Germany. Y'all have a pleasant today, a better tomorrow, and we'll catch you in the sky and air realistic on the good maps. Take care, folks.